Doo doo doo. Hello. This is Jabu with a tutorial for you on. Let's see here. I'm gonna make a. Doo doo doo. We're gonna make a uh, prop into a weapon for Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Um, tools that we're gonna need. Um, what I'm using in this particular tutorial is uh, Seven Zip, because uh, you're gonna need Seven Zip to be able to get into a dot knob file. And what we're gonna do is go into Vampire Masquerade Redemption folder um, and open go into the uh, resource dot knob file so we go right click on it go into 7zip and we're just going to open the archive and then we're going to go under uh, 3d and for the for this tutorial I'm going to use uh, Way to extract um, as soon as I find it. Somewhere. I want to extract the stained glass lamp sb.nom file. And along with that, I'm going to hold down control and also select spear 0, 1, 3, and 4. Then I'm going to right click. And copy two. I'm going to move these all into 3D models folder. And press OK. And what we're also going to need, um, we're also going to need to go back um, into this directory and uh, go into the miscellaneous folder and go into templates. We're going to extract global dot not. We're going to copy to. We're going to copy to miscellaneous templates. This is in. This is in the uh, vampire masquerade redemption folder. Let's click OK. Now we should have. Global in here. What we do is want to right click on it, go to properties, and turn off its read only. We're going to work in here later on. For now, we need to uh, go into 3D models, and then we're going to. Well, actually, we don't need to right click this one. We can just right click uh, and remove the properties for uh, for the spears that have uh, the numbers at the end of them. And what these numbers represent are the various skeletons that equip the spear. We're going to use the spear as a base for um, turning this lamp prop into a weapon. And we're going to have it use uh, the spear setup. So after I removed read-only from these uh, these spears, I'm going to change their names immediately. I'm going to call mine uh, Javo um, Lamp Weapon. Or just Weapon. And I'm going to uh, make sure that each of these, but keep the, keep the, uh, the number extension as it is. Don't change that. Keep that there. As so, okay. So when we're done with that, we're gonna need milk shape to be able to uh, apply this lamp into these uh, weapons and align it so that it looks looks like a spear being worn. So let's uh, open up Milkshade. Let that load. 
second here. Do do do. Load. Okay, finally. All right. So, load. Okay. Okay, there we go. Kind of double loaded. All right. So what we do is go into file. We go import. Do do do. Here. And we want to import a dot nod. So we go vampire masquerade plugin. And we press this. Uh, Next to the file name, here we go, uh, click on this double arrow. <coughs> and first off, I want to import this stained glass lamp. And I'm going to click OK. This is what the, uh, lamp looks like. This little pool here, this is going to, it's going to be held like a spear once it's all done. But the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this joint here. So I'm going to go into the joints. And I'm going to double click on O1. And then I'm going to click in here into this uh, 3D window. And I'm going to press delete. And that should remove the, uh, that should remove that little dot. As you can see, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no note there anymore. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it. Just going to save it normally. Um, I'm going to save it as a uh, lamp. And I'm going to start a new scene here. Let's go new. And then now it's time to import um, those spears. So I'm going to import just one. I'm going to start with zero. And uh, what this represents here when you import it is that it has a skeleton. The skeleton is... Uh, it's pretty much a standardized skeleton used by Kristoff and uh, Wilhelm and models like that. It's commonly used, and if we just edit this one, it would be fine for all the standard metals in the in the uh, Redemption game. But uh, we're gonna have to do all uh, all four of them if we want um, all the major player models to be able to equip the lamp and have it appear on them when they. Uh, with it. So, um, I'm gonna, next step here is to merge. So we want to merge um, the lamp. So now we got the lamp in here. And what we want to do, we, we want to go into groups here. We want to se select the lamp. And then go under model tab and select rotate. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to adjust this. We're going to adjust this lamp so that it aligns with the spear. <laughs> so, so we're just going to fix that up. Be sure to use all the XYZ windows here so you can make sure it's fully aligned. So we're going to move it over on this, this window here. And we're going to have to rotate some more. I need the focus in so we can see it better. And then move it some more. Just be sure that you can click on these options here so you'll be able to rotate and then move. And you can go into this window. What I'm doing is I'm left clicking and holding down to be able to uh, uh, manipulate this object. So in this uh, in the 3D window, we notice that. <coughs> To be fairly aligned, I want to push this forward just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And, uh, get a little bit more aligned there. That should do the trick. Now what we want to do is we want to find the bone that the, uh, let me, uh, scroll in here into this 3D view. I want to find the bone, probably near here, that's, uh, that's assigned to the spear. And last I checked, it was, uh, it was bone 26. Dude, if you, uh, need to figure out which, um, which bone, uh, a mesh is assigned to, double click on that, uh, bone in the joint section, and click on the select assigned. What you should see is... A dotted outline 
if the object is assigned to it, you'll see a dotted outline, and the sphere is in fact assigned to bone 26. So what we want to do is we want to assign I want to double click the uh, bone 26 again here and I want to go into groups and uh, I want to select the lamp so I'm going to double click the two components for the, uh, for the lamp and then I'm going to go back into joints here and I'm going to assign it. So I click on assign and now when you click select assign both the lamp you should see, you should see the outline for both now so you got these red dots all over the place. So both the lamp and the sphere are assigned to bone 26.